Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Freda Chando channel. And once again, I appreciate you for taking your time to be part of us. William Ruto, the Deputy President of Kenya, jetted out of the country to attend some meetings in the USA and proceed to address uh, members of the Commonwealth. But just a day after he jetted out of the country, his house is burning. Omingo Magara, who is the treasurer of the UDA party, resigned. As if that was not enough, Rigathe Gashagwa, who is widely seen to be a man who is supposed to become the deputy president's running mate, made some statements that did not go down well with the Amani Congress National Party. He actually intimate, uh, intimated that the running mate position in the Kenya Kwanza Alliance was a reserve of the central people, the Mount Kenya. This rattled Mr. Musella Mdavadi and his party together with uh, Moses Wetangula and they released a statement condemning such statements. The house is in disarray. And as we have always opined on this channel, William Ruto has been in charge of his campaigns solely so that when he's not around, no one is able to take charge of the party. Remember when Raila Odinga uh, jetted out of the country uh, some weeks back, his campaigns went on so well the Azimio divided themselves into several groups and they campaigned so much, the rallies were attended and we didn't have any issues. But I want to look at the resignation of Omingo Magara from the party. As we have always said, in politics, nothing happens out of a mere accident. Everything is usually choreographed, planned and mastermind, and they are always meant to serve a particular political goal. So when Umingo Magara resigned, there must have been a reason why Umingo Magara resigned, and we want to try and look at what really happened. And I'll be very brief. Number one, Umingo Magara is a seasoned politician. He hails from South Migirango, I think, in Kisi. And Kisi, the politics in Kisi is taking shape. Just a few weeks ago, Danson Mangi resigned from the UDA and joined Azimio. Now, just a few days later, Omigo Magara is resigning. Omigo Magara has studied the trend in Kisi and he has realized that Kisi is now an ODM zone. There is a resurgence of, uh, of uh, Simba Arati and Richard Onyonka. They have campaigned in Kisi and a friend was telling me that they have rejuvenated youths and the old alike. That Everyone is now active, and ODM has really gained popularity in Kisi like never before. William Ruto has tried to uh, gain entry into Kisi through people like Kosoro, but they have realized it is not really working out for them. Rumors has it that people like Kosoro are also considering changing their allegiance to Raila Molodinga. So, Omigo Magara just realized that he will not head anywhere with the UDA in Kisi. It has taken shape. It has changed. They are now ODM. You remember when Rai Ludinga was uh, celebrating his birthday, in Kisi they made a very big cake just to celebrate Raila Amolo Odinga. So Omigo Magara realized that William Ruto is slowly and surely losing grip in Kisi, and that is why he decided to move very fast to resign from the party. He said he would uh, give us his uh, political future, 
but it is crystal clear that he's going to join Azimio. Number two, Omigo Magara just realized, remember just last week, the Jubilee wing that is led by the president, Uru Kenyatta, kicked out William Ruto from the party. They paraded a new group of membership from the chairman, the secretary, and all the officials. And William Ruto and his brigade was kicked out. The president has revived his party and he has made it sure that he's going to ensure that William Ruto does not ascend to power. And together they have teamed up with Raila Molodinga, who is also in charge of the ODM affairs. And Domingo Magara realized that William Ruto is not as powerful as they thought. You know, William Ruto, in his talks and actions, made people to believe that perhaps he's more, power, more powerful than the president. But Domingo Magara is realizing that William Ruto is not all that powerful. The president has rendered him inert and inept. And Domingo Magara knows that he must align himself to a powerful team because he's a seasoned politician and he wants to have a say in Kisi politics. He knew very well that he's not going to move forward with William Ruto because William Ruto is fighting forces that Omingo Magara believes William Ruto will not win this battle because Raila Molodinga teaming up with the president and all the parties that, you know, camped and teamed up to support Raila Molodinga, people like William, uh, like Cyrus Jirongo, Charity Ngilu, Kivuda Kibwana, and very many parties, the Bas from Meru, they have coiled themselves around Azimio and they have supported Raila Molodinga. So William Root is not as powerful as people thought. And moving forward, you will see many people who thought that they could build their political world around William Ruto will start moving away because they know very well they will not head anywhere. Number three, I want to believe that uh, there is a personal interest because politics is always about interest. Omingo Magara wants to have a political space. He wants to cut like a territory for himself. Maybe he wants to contest for a governorship, gubernatorial position, or a senate, senatorial position. And if he's not going to contest, he might want to join Azimio so that when they form a government come August this year, he will get a part of this cake, perhaps by being appointed ambassador, high commissioner, or something. He knows very well you know, he's been in the cold for some times and he cannot afford to be in the cold. When you align yourself to the powers that be and uh, you align yourself with the government, Raila Molodinga and uh, Uru Mugai Kenyatta, they are poised to form a government come next year. Everyone knows that because from all indications, they are going to outwit Ruto, they are going to defeat him in the polls come August this year. And Domingo Magara knows very well that if he remains with William Ruto and William Ruto loses, he's done. His political uh, future is dusted, is buried. And so he wants to align himself just to ensure that he gets a piece of the national cake. I can assure you, Domingo Magara, like he said, that he will give uh, uh, further information on this, he might want to buy, he might want just to be part of this winning team so that he gets uh, a position. I want to believe here, because uh, I was referring to something here, maybe also Omigo Magara wants to be part of a Zimio. Remember the uh, parliament passed the political parties act that was signed into law. This bill was signed very hurriedly and very quickly by the president Uru Kenyatta into law. So that this time around any party which joins, the parties that come together will get a fair share of the cake. The political parties fund will be divided equitably. It will not be pegged on the mercy of maybe a bigger party like 
you know remember there was a complaint by NASA affiliate parties that they were intimidated by ODM so this time around it is going to be an equitable distribution of the that fund and Domingo Magara might want to join as Emil because when he does this he knows that his party if it if, if his party uh, meets the conditions that are set by the political parties law, he knows he's going to get this fair share of the cake. And Domingo Magara is also making sure that he has a say in Kisi politics. Maybe he wants his party to fill candidates in several positions in Kisi. By doing this, he remains politically relevant. You cannot be politically relevant if you are in a losing team. And I'm not going to say, I'm not saying that William Ruto is going to lose. I'm saying that from all the indications, the Azimio party looks like they have an edge, especially in the Kisi. And Domingo Magara wants to remain politically relevant. The last point here is that Omingo Magara cited intimidation and lack of transparency and democracy in the UDA. Omingo Magara is uh, not a young politician, he's got experience. He was in the ODM, he was with Rail Odinga, they've been together with the Ruto. When he says that there is political intimidation, it means uh, uh, that there are people who feel entitled. Just the other day, remember Gadi Gashag was saying that the running mate position is reserved to the central and the Mount Kenya people. It seems that in UDA, there are people who feel that whatever they say is alpha and omega, it is final. Omigo Magara would want to air, you know, air his views and sometimes it looks like they don't consider what he says. When we are approaching the general election, Omigo Magara perhaps had requested for support to maybe fill some candidates, you know, and William Root has made it clear that he does not recognize, recognize regional parties. And so he wants to kill all the parties. When you join him, he doesn't want you to retain your party. This is the reason why Moses Kuria perhaps jetted out, even though Moses Kuria is still sending mixed signals, but this is one of the reasons. So it seems like Omingo Magara is in the party but he's, uh, he's playing a second fiddle. He's, pay, he's being viewed as an amateur in the UDA. They are not giving him enough time to perhaps share his views. They are not taking the, his views seriously. They are intimidating him. And perhaps this is the reason why he waited for William Ruto to jet outside the country so that he can resign. Because he knows that William Ruto is going to take 10 to 15 days. He knows that by the time William Ruto is coming back, maybe he will have uh, met with the ODM and the part of the Zimio team, and he, he will have been in a, in, in a group where William Ruto cannot now you know, follow him, maybe with intimidation. People cannot come and uh, threaten him. And I, I think this is the reason why he waited for William Ruto to go so that he can resign. I want to believe that these are part of the reasons or some of the reasons why Omingo Magara resigned from the party. These are my thoughts and my views. What do you think from where you are? If you are a William Ruto supporter, Raila Moludinga supporter, if you are coming from Kisi, what do you think? Please tell us. Do you think there are some of the reasons why he resigned? Do you think there are other reasons that perhaps I have left out? Share with me your thoughts. I want to request you if you are watching this video for the first time, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. The channel is still young. I need more subscribers so that it can grow and it can only grow. If you agree to give it that necessary support, please click that subscribe button and then like my video. You can share the video. Uh, if you do this, I know this channel will grow. And uh, for the subscribers, those who have subscribed, I want to take this opportunity and say thank you very much. For this support, it is growing slowly but sure. I know Mambo ni pole pole. I want to say asante sana. Tafadhali, nisaidia kusambaza video. You can always, I always get a lot of feedback. Some people tell me about the quality of the sound, the quality of the video, and I take them very seriously. Once again, thank you. And until we do another video like this, have a nice time. Bye.